because we want the quarterbacks to play uh, with a moving clock as much as we can and everyone else. So it's, uh, you know, obviously when you're playing it for real, there's more clock stoppages and so forth. But uh, in order to get, to get it done in practice time, I like to keep the clock moving. And when Sweeney and I talked about how to do it, I told him how we did it. And, and he liked that. And uh, so we kind of went through that. And they, they practiced that when they had during the off season. And we kind of changed us how we do our half line drill and did it like they did it. So we've been had some little give and take, and it's been good. Uh, you know, we were both uh, kind of adjusted something to, you know, the way the other club did it. Um, you know, there's a lot made here covering the Falcons of Matt Ryan's comeback expertise and what he's been able to accomplish. How's, how do you kind of size up Andy? I know, you know, you, get, you guys had the drive to get into the playoffs last year. Things, you know, didn't end as great as you wanted to. And well, I mean, I think that's, of, a, again, an area as a quarterback where, you know, you really got to stay calm with everything and, uh, you know, you got to manage the clock, you got to manage the ball going in, out of bounds and so forth. So uh, there's a lot that, uh, you know, it, that's great to have a young quarterback like Matt has done. He's just been so cool and calm in that, in that situation, and that's great. And we, you know, we, we got to hope that when uh, Andy gets put in those situations more and more, that he can handle just just as effectively. Coach, your defensive line has been a strength for you guys so far, and with Michael Johnson, you know, Atkins, how are you guys able to keep those guys engaged? It seems like their technique has gotten better each year so far. Well, they're young guys who've continued to work hard. They're guys who wanted to continually do better, and I think, and they've done a great job of learning and working at it and, uh, and really uh, transferring it to the field. When you got ones going against ones on like a two-minute drill, because I think out when six of eight against you guys. Just how do you evaluate that on film? Right? Well, there's no pass rush, so he better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no pass rush and the ball's going, and you keep keeping all these stats about the ball going underneath, and that's where the ball's supposed to go because his linemen aren't affecting it and everything that way. So, uh, you know, the, the quarterbacks ought to be efficient out here in practice. So you basically judge on if they're able to get it underneath instead of the big completion. Right, you judge. We're judging on being in the right spots and what we're doing defensively. Do, do you feel like we overstat um, preseason and you overstat everything to do with preseason and practice? But it's it gives people something to do. And I understand why you do it. And I'm such a more mature coach now. I don't get upset. You know, I don't. You know, it's, venom it's, about it's it. social media. They upset. That's they they right. want it, man. Play in training camp. Right, but it's it's you know yeah it's overstated. But it's fine, you know. But the quarterbacks ought to be. I mean, you know, NFL quarterbacks, you come out here and the ball should never, you know, rarely touch the ground, you know, basically. But if you're able to keep him to throw it underneath and stuff. Keep him to throw it underneath and keep him tight coverage and so forth when the ball's thrown, that's what you're looking for.